X4 has just received the first steps of a major patch. The latest update is 7.0 and it's currently in the first stages of the public beta. Now, there's a lot going on with this update, so we're going to jump into all of that in just a moment. But keep in mind that this is one of the best space games out there and it's currently available on Steam on sale for just £16. So if you haven't tried it out before, now might be a fantastic opportunity. Especially seeing as this update introduces a brand new uh, tutorial system that hopefully will make this complex game a little bit easier to get into. So for those of you who don't know, the X-Series is a comprehensive space simulation sandbox that blends elements of space exploration, economic strategy, trading and intricate building mechanics, not to mention a load of combat as well, whether you just want to go out hunting enemies or become a pirate yourself. Now, as a single player experience, X4 immerses the players in a vast dynamic universe where every action can influence the broader economic and political landscapes. But perhaps more to the point here, as this is a single player and a sandbox experience, you would have your own choice as to how you want to play it. So whether you just want to dive in and explore the universe or have a bit of combat, or whether you want to build up a full trade empire, the choice really is up to you. So the latest update, patch 7.0, is a free update. Like I say, it's currently in public beta and you can try that out on Steam. There's instructions in the video description on how to do that. This update then adds a significant evolution to the game and it adds a load of depth and content as well as some technical improvements that just generally enrich the overall game. So perhaps central to the update are the reimagined Taladi and Argon capital ships. These are some of the aliens out there. Alongside the, these are the redesigned Xenon, PE and SE ships which bring a fresh dynamic to space encounters. Now, additionally, for the first time, selected Xenon ships become pilotable, and this is something that a lot of players have asked for a very long time, and this will give you a bit of a different perspective on space navigation. Now, the expansion itself extends into the universe a little bit more deeper there, with additional sectors, a whole new load of new areas that you can explore, as well as some new landmarks, and this should encourage some uh, new exploration if you haven't been out there before, or if you have been out there before, it means there will be new things to discover and new adventures to be had. Elsewhere, as you move from station to station, you'll come across various different civilizations out there and you'll find the new observation deck module, which further personalizes the space preferring experience, allowing players to really uh, or get a feel for the cultures of the X universe. Moving our attention towards gameplay for a minute, 7.0 introduces the new existential crisis. Now this is an end game challenge, so if you've been playing X4 previously over the years and the game has been around for a long time at this point, you might want to jump back in to have a look at what this is all about. The goal here then is to offer veterans a new dimension to actually, uh, well, experience the game. Now there's not a whole lot of details on how the existential crisis works, but Egosoft say that the idea is to pit the players against a really hard uh, faction that will go all out to try and put a stop to the player at all costs. What's more, if this really isn't your scene that you can opt out of it and or just have a bit more of a relaxing experience if that's what you'd prefer. There's also been some changes and improvements to jump gates as well as to the uh, travel mode which have seen some refinements. Perhaps more importantly though to uh, new players is going to be the uh, brand new tutorials. These have been expanded which really means it should make it that much easier for new players to get into. Although uh, Egosoft have said that the uh, full tutorials, the full of brand new tutorials, haven't been completely introduced just yet in the first uh, beta of this patch. Now elsewhere, there's some enhanced usability and accessibility, they say, and I hope this is something that sees some further refinement, because for me personally, over the years, the UI and some of the menus have been the, really, the, well, the largest road blocker to me really enjoy an X4 to its full potential. The game is great, but the UI not so much, at least in my opinion. So the new update here does focus a little bit on that, uh, allowing players to customize UI, UI colors, uh, button remapping, there's some controller profiles here, as well as an FOV slider. There's also been some graphical enhancements here with some changes to the uh, scan mode shaders, so hopefully some improvements there as well as uh, some improved shadows, as well as some improved explosions. You may find one or two other nice uh, graphical features out there as well. So yeah, it's really nice to see all of these features in 7.0, and there are of course a massive list 
of fixes and other changes as well. There's a full uh, patch log in the video description. So over the years, EgoSoft have shown absolutely fantastic support for X4 Foundations, giving a free update after free update. And it's really nice to see a team showing so much love and dedication for such a good quality space game. There are also some paid expansions to the game, the latest of which is not out yet, and this is going to be X4 Timelines, and we should be seeing more about that over the coming weeks and at the coming months. That's due for release later on in this year. So for all the other details, do check out that link in the video description. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, and I'll catch you next time.